You're going to start by pressing the big plus button in the top left of the screen, which will make a new movie. And you're going to press the, the button on the top right, the camera button, and this will allow you to start capturing images in your stop motion. Essentially what I'm going to do in my tutorial here is I'm going to use my guidelines. I'm going to use my guidelines to take images and take pictures. Now there's a slider on the left hand screen. This is called onion skinning. It allows you to see the image you just shot as well as a live preview of the image you're about to shoot. I find this to be really helpful in lining up my images because you want your movements to be small and incremental in order for your animation to be smooth. If you find this to be distracting, you can totally ignore it, but I chose to use the onion skinning feature in this program to help make my animation really, really smooth. Now I'm going through really, really quickly here. I have my uh, video uh, super fast just to show you the process where I'm just taking small incremental steps. I'm using my guidelines and I'm using my onion skinning. And what I'm doing is I'm focusing on the same point in each image so that that way as I'm animating and as I'm making little small incremental steps, I know that my animation is going to be fluid and it's going to be smooth. That's the key for hyperlapse is that you want to make sure that your steps are small and incremental and you want to make sure that you're focusing on the same thing each time you take an image. In this case, I was using the light at the bottom of that kind of like purple overhang. Once you're done shooting, you can go through and look at all of your images to make sure that they came out exactly how you like them. When you're happy with your images and your playback, you have a couple of options with how you want to export your video. So you can see here, this is a preview. If you press on the um, cog on the bottom left, you're going to get a slider, and this allows you to choose your frame rate. For this assignment, I want you guys to be working with 12 frames a second. You can press the back button, and then you can select your movie and choose Export Movie. And from there, all you're going to do is save it to your phone. You can easily export it to other social media, but in this case, you just need to save it to your phone. It gives you an option right then and there to rename it. I left mine first movie. And this is an example of what my animation looked like when it was all said and done, when it all came together. It's a little jumpy. Uh, there is some tutorials on Moodle about how to smooth it out if you guys are interested in smoothing it out. But essentially, that MP4 video that you've saved, that's what you're going to turn into me. You're going to upload it to Moodle as soon as it's done. And I'm looking for 120 photographs. So that's going to be a 10-second hyperlapse. Thank you guys, and let me know if you have any questions.